All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Fallout 2 Regenerated, where today we are back here in our magnificent TARDIS after doing a little bit of waiting, of course, so that we could get the next Retrieve Plan mission, this time for the Thermo Couplings. And yeah, we've only got two more plans to grab as the Defense Complex, as well as the Vitality Node, are the only ones that are not Tier 3. Everything else has been upgraded fully to Tier 3, though it looks like we are a little bit damaged. I mean, I figured we did get damaged a little bit in our last flight, which, let's see, where is the shield readout? Of course, 100%. Shell readout's 100, so just our main systems have taken a bit of damage. Intriguing. Which, oh well, let us actually, I mean, how damaged? Remains fully functional. We're fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait to use the uh, molecular stabilizer later. The first thing I want to do before we actually head out to go and actually uh, find our final thing. Let's actually open the door. There we are, lovely. Is one of you guys in the comments gave me a really good idea. Because an annoying thing I've had about the uh, screwdriver here, the sonic screwdriver, is I can't seem to reload unless it's entirely empty. So my plan of what I was going to do was just shoot all of this away until it's done and then go and refill but one of you guys had an interesting idea to actually put our ammo our artron cells into here there we go and then what the hell why is it saying 999 now uh-oh did i break something <laughs> You gave the idea of uh, putting the Artron cells into there and then going here to recharge. Ooh, which I can now, but it's still saying 56 of 900. Oh, no. Let's recharge and see what happens. Okay, so it wouldn't let me take the cells entirely out. I still have that 56 there. And it only gave me 144. Because that was how many I had after the 56, but there are still 56 Artron cells in here. Ooh. Neat. Hold on a moment. <laughs> I'm just, why did I go that way? Go back the other way. I'm gonna, yeah, put all that back in there. Oh, now it's all gone. Haha. -ha. Then I can do this again. Recharge. Haha. -ha. And then reload. Beautiful. And then take all the Artron cells. Oh my god, I have extra ammo now. Yes! <laughs> it was a little bit screwy. It kind of went a bit wonky, but you know what? It worked. I'm going to take all. I'm now over encumbered, but I just need to walk over to... I didn't need to go that far. Here we go. Transfer all of our junk. Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> and to people who were saying on the comments in the last episode for me to have grabbed that fan that we passed by last time, oh, trust me, I saw it. But I wanted to, like I said before, I was wanting to use the uh, fabricator function to get all the materials that I needed for the sonic screwdriver. That was my whole intent and why I was getting frustrated at not having screws. I could have easily gotten screws many different ways, but I chose, I chose this. <laughs> I brought it on myself. <laughs> And also, thank you to you guys who told me that the radio beacon, or the beacon rather, is a radio station. I figured it functioned very similarly to our uh, camping mod that we've used a lot, where you have like a camping beacon you can deploy from your inventory, and it would just add a miscellaneous waypoint, basically. That's how I just kind of figured in my head it would work. I didn't think that, oh, it'd be a radio signal. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for informing me of that. But let us... Uh, I'll actually go back over to here because I'm intrigued what the thermocoupling is going to give us. That is our next thing. So let's scroll all the way down and instruction manual. Let us see what that is going to entail. So we've got... Do, 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 no, not you. Ah, the thermo... Oh, it's another one of those ones that seems messed up and reversed. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Cool. So, right now, our refueling and repair time is 18 hours uh, because of our thermocouplings. And technically, we're going to grab our fluid links now, but these seem to be... Re actually, last time we did this, didn't it actually tell us the thermocouplings then, too? Yeah, I think some things are just royally screwed up. Which, understandable, it's been five years since this mod was touched. 
and it's one person going back and trying to figure it all out, fix it, and improve it. So, there's gonna be some weird things, like with the multiple times we've returned back to that bunker in the glowing sea. <laughs> and the defense complex is the other one, so it's the tremulator we need, which allows the high had sensitivity. Okay, cool. Well, let's go get those thermocouplings. Or whatever, because, you know, <laughs> the vitality one definitely seems messed up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember me getting all weird about that last time when it's because, yeah, it told us thermocouplings before. Or, no, no, it was reversed. It was telling us the fluid intake thing or whatever it was because I was confused why it was giving us the tier two upgrade or the tier three upgrade, rather, when we didn't even have the tier two one yet. And now we're doing the tier two upgrade for the tier three. It's, it's just all messed up. <laughs> Hopefully all those things get fixed. Oh, boy. And hopefully we get some more content for it soon. And to those who I did ask in the comments recently on the last episode, if I will return to this mod as it gets updated, that is my hope. Now, I may not always see the updates because, you know, I just may miss things. Also, Sarah, who the hell is down there? Oh, my provisioner. Weird. All right, but yeah, I might miss an update, so it might take me a while to get back to these things, but that is my intent to do it. Oh, we're back to medtech research. Yeah, that'd be another thing it'd be good for the new mod maker to work on, adding a bit more variety to where we're going for these. It seems to be a fairly short list. I mean, previously, it was only that bunker in the abandoned shack that was the repeat, but this is the second time we've gone back to medtech, and I bet it's going to be in the same area. Which, hey, at least this time I know how to get there. I was lost last time we were here. <laughs> this is the right building, right? The same one that we hit before that I got lost in a bit? Well, we'll find out momentarily once we do get over there. But yeah, I'm excited once we get the whole thing fully upgraded. I do believe that that is all there is until uh, things are upgraded. Oh, we are going to check out uh, Regeneration. I did get confirmation from you, oh, glorious commenters, that the regeneration is indeed in here. So we'll check that out today as well. But yeah, the, today may be the last episode. Unless, unless you guys in the comments on this one can tell me about anything that I have missed so far. Because I would like to see everything that is currently in here. Which seems to be pretty much everything we had in the first... So, I mean, there's no ghoul corpses. No, this is a different building. Okay, okay, cool. So we didn't get a repeat on this one. Nice. Where am I going? Over there. Uh. Oh, wait. No, it is. Yep. Repeat. Okay. Okay. Yep. There's the decontamination archer. So, yeah. We need to go this way. All right. All right. So it is a repeat. Hmm. I was confused by the building at first. Aha. Uh -huh, over here. There we go. And back this way. Nice, that's nice and easy. So yeah, another repeat. Really need to add more more places we can go to. I don't remember if it was in this filing cabinet before, but thermocouplings, I do remember this room. So neat, neat. Well, let's get the heck out of Dodge. Oop. Thank God that doesn't hurt me. I still love the fact that we can cheese the Archeron cell system though. Thank you to that commenter who told me to put the Artron cells up. It was weird the first time when it kind of broke when it, even though I put up 56, it still had 56. But now we have extra ammo, so that is good. I, I just wish we could recharge it, though, beyond that so that we didn't have to worry about doing something like that. Scanners detecting sentient. Ah, oh, crap. I don't want to deal with you. I just want to get back to my TARDIS. Run away. <laughs> Don't want to deal with them. All right, we should be good here. And... Oh, wait, no, we, we, we moved to Sanctuary. I was about to take us back to the other place. <laughs> yeah, I was about to take us back to Natick Banks. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we moved to Sanctuary. You know, it actually probably would have been quicker to go back to the Red Rocket rather than to Sanctuary, because the Red Rocket, I think, is ever so slightly closer to where the TARDIS parks. Because it's outside on the other side of the bridge. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunate for me. Oh, well. So how are we going to die later to get our regeneration in? I am intrigued by that. I mean, 
Easiest just probably to take off all my armor and just walk into the wilderness somewhere. <laughs> See what happens. Uh, oh, yep, here we are. Would have been easier to go back. Yeah. Oh, hi, folks. How are all of you? Trash can Carla. Oh, you. I remember you. I, I always forget about this guy. He, that power armor he's wearing is mine. That caravan, stole, that caravan guard stole that armor years ago. And I keep forgetting to knock him out of it. <laughs> oh, we're a milk machine today. All right, cool. All right, into the vitality node. Inspect. Upgrade. I'm actually intrigued now that it's been upgraded. Does it repair? No, it's not repaired. Okay, cool. Well, close that and let's wait for 48 hours. All right, hold on. Make more trash. Make more junk. <laughs> oh, why did I go into there? No, nope, let's uh, wait. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Wait ourselves 48 hours, get the final upgrade, and then go die. <laughs> So yeah, definitely though for you commenters, if there is anywhere or anything that is a part of this mod that I haven't seen yet that I don't know about, please do tell me and we will do another episode. Uh, but if not, if there's nothing of importance or value, we'll move on to our next modded series and we will try to remember to t return to this next time it updates. I mean, I'll try and keep tabs on the thing, but with my memory, I'll, uh, I'll miss it for a little while. All right, so let us... There we go, another 24 hours. And then we'll upgrade our defense complex. Noise. Oh, I'm so excited we'll have a fully upgraded TARDIS. I mean, I also need to repair this thing, but, you know, eh. <laughs> oh, I'm also a little bit worried about when we do die to go get regenerated. Because, I mean... Lore-wise in the show, if they kill you again while you're regenerating... Ah, uh, yes, the Tremulator. Uh, you die for good. Nope, oh, nope, not the Drift Comp... Not the Drift Compensator! There's the Fabricator. More junk. Alright, let's go get ourselves a Tremulator. Ooh, also, Stim Pack. There we go. Yeah, I'm curious if that's gonna be the same thing here, so I need to find a way to die and then get away from the combat. Interesting. Well, we'll have to test that. We'll have to, uh, you know, pop down a quick save before we go and kill ourselves. Oh, hey, just over to Olivia. This is actually the first time we've headed over here with this. Oh, all the bandits are there. They're all there. I haven't killed the people in Olivia since the first time we did it all those years ago. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've gone in there in a couple of mods to have used that place for things, but... Yeah, the bandits yeah. are definitely... Oh, and the blowflies! <laughs> They're even worse than the bandits. You know what? Since kill these guys for me, I don't want to deal with them. They're all on you. Thank you. I appreciate that, guys. Alright. Well, now we go inside. <laughs> Surprisingly, I'm not getting anyone out here. Hmm. Well. Weird. Alright, down we go. Usually there's some bandits that are on the exterior of the bunker here. Oh well, let's go get the thing and get the heck out. And then go die somewhere. Alright. Tactical sonic screwdriver. Ooh, can I do- no, no, just normal. I was wondering if I could do anything with the sonic screwdriver with that, but no, that's just typical disarm. Did I ever open this? Oh my god, I didn't in this save file. Hey, we were able to get through this door. Tools gotta be somewhere. Nice. Well, I'll take you. I mean, I don't need to grab all the things in here, but why not? I had to use my sonic screwdriver. It it was an option, and it needed to happen. All right, let's go kill these guys and then uh, take what we need. Get our whatever it was. Hey, friend! Die! Oh, there it is. Got the tremulator. Let's kill the rest of these with Sonic Screwdriver. Yeah! <laughs> this still feels so wrong, killing people with a Sonic Screwdriver. But, oh well. A boom Die, Raider Scum! Again, it would make sense if it was the Laser Screwdriver. That's kind of its point, but... 
It's really weird and awkward doing it with the Sonic. <laughs> hey, there you are. Well, you're dead. We got you too, and uh, that was it. Wonderful. We've done our job. All right, now get the heck out of here. Yeah, it just feels so weird doing that. <laughs> All right, back to the TARDIS, get our final upgrade, then go find someone to blow our head off so that we can regenerate. I'm curious to see. Ooh, yeah, we when we quick save, we should also look at our stats. I don't know if it does, but I'm thinking I remember in Fallout Who Vegas that it also changed our stats whenever we regenerated. I don't know for sure, because it was a long time ago that we played that, but let's check it out. Let us see what we got and see what's going to happen when we die. Well, that's morbid. <laughs> you know? Ah, oh, you know, hold on. Actually, I do have over on my other... I was about to say I could just spawn something in and then kill it for safety's sake. Uh, but I don't know any of the spawns off the top of my head. But I have a notepad open on my other monitor. And it's the notepad I use for all of my mod info. And I included all the instructions for, like, how to fly on there. So I've got the order of operations of zigzag plotter, helmet regulator, etc. And just below that are the codes that I use in my mod testing videos. So we could spawn ourselves a Deathclaw, have it murder us real quick. <laughs> and then immediately use the kill command. <laughs> we could do that. But you know what? I want to die naturally. <laughs> All right, upgrade. Magnificent. We've got the Tremulator. And I'm curious to wait for 48 hours again. We now have everything upgraded to level 3. So I'm curious if we wait for 48 hours, if we get anything. Maybe there is another quest. I don't know. But let us find out. And then we'll go die. Woo. <laughs> You know, we could piss off everyone in Sanctuary and have them shoot us. That could work, too. <laughs> or, you know, we could just uh, travel anywhere that enemies have respawned in. Alright, so another 24 hours for the 48. I don't think anything's going to happen here, but I am curious to find out. So, let us do that. But yeah, I definitely can't wait till this thing gets updated with, hopefully, some quests. That would be magnificent. That was my just... The, my favorite, absolute best part of Fallout Who Vegas was it had all those other worlds we could go to, enemies to fight from Daleks to Cybermen to Weeping Angels. Granted, the Weeping Angels were horrifying and they could actually invade your TARDIS. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I don't want that in the game. <laughs> oh no, I forgot about that. But okay, yeah, nothing, nothing spawned. So yeah, we're on our own then. We are done with the quests. Fabricate. Alright, let's go uh, fast travel somewhere. Where enemies want us dead. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, actually, we could just... Well, hmm. No, they're all alive and... Uh, I mean, I killed a lot of them. I was thinking of going back to GNN, maybe, but... Hmm. Where would be a good place to go to die? <laughs> you know, Lexington. Yeah, there's both bandits and, yeah, bandits and raiders in the area. So yeah, let's just go straight to Lexington. That'll work. Wait, before we do, let's quick save from here. Quick save, and then check our uh, d -d -d special. All right, so I'm not going to remember all of these, but luck and charisma are easy to remember. So 10 on that and 2 on luck on this character. <laughs> And uh, let's just take a look in here briefly. Alright, so yeah, we got full toughness and riflemen. I doubt these are going to refresh themselves, but I'm just curious. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Alright, well, let's teleport over to Lexington and uh, get killed. Cool. Let's see what happens. I'm intrigued. I'm looking forward to this. Let us regenerate into a new doctor. Wonderful. I have no idea what's going to happen with this, with how the mod has changed. And honestly, considering it's been five freaking years since we played it the first time, I don't remember if Regeneration was in it originally. So I don't remember how it worked in this one. And it's been around that same amount of time since we did Fallout Who Vegas. 
So, you know what? Since we're here, and since we are doing a test now, let's just change the time. And the weather. Wonderful. Alright, let's go get killed. Lovely. You know what? Oh, yep, stand on the mine. That barely did anything to me. Dang it, my armor is too good. <laughs> let's take it off. Ooh, then I'm going to be over encumbered, aren't I? Well, let's find out. We're good. Barely. Nice. Now we're wearing the marine wetsuit and our sonic shades. All right, let's go. Let's go get killed. Nice. Also, the TARDIS was just discovered, apparently. That was weird. Ooh. Oh, there's a turret. We can just let the turret kill us. Where's the turret? Also, we've gotten blown up a few times, which is good now that our armor's off. Where is the turret? I heard it. I don't remember. It's been so long since... Oh, hi, Behemoth! Perfect! Hi, friend! You get to kill me! Congratulations! <laughs> oh, there's a mini-nuke somewhere, too! Okay, who shot the mini-nuke? Please kill me, friend. Kill me! I think you're up there. Yeah, you got a raider. Where's your friend? Let me shoot at him so they think I'm a threat. Oh, the behemoth's coming back. Never mind. I don't need. To, I don't need help. Kill me! Kill me! Oh, there we go. Oh God, he's still taking a while to kill me. Wow, wow. There we go. And and oh yes, your body has been mortally wounded, and your cells start to burn as the regenerative process sets in. So we can repress it. Refuse. Or regenerate. So the repressing, I think, is probably going to... Uh, we're hmm, we're going to stay the same if we just repress it. Well, I mean, we're here to regenerate, so let's do that. And... Let's see what occurs. Then we're going to have to run the hell away from this thing. Ooh, our body is burning with uh, some fire particle effects. Barely noticeable, considering our corpse is lying on the ground, though. And... Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, thank God, I thought it broke for a moment and we were stuck. Oh, everything's bright. Everything's too bright. Oh! <laughs> we're back into character creation. <laughs> okay, cool. So, yeah, we can switch it around to different faces. You know what? Sure, we are a new doctor. Why not? Let's uh, just randomly just click a few times. There we go. Perfect. Oh, no. Just hit back. Just hit done. Yeah. We're a new... We're a new... Oh, God! Oh, God! Now I gotta run! Now I gotta run! Now I gotta run! Now I gotta run! Okay, we have regenerative sickness now. Let's see what that uh, debuff is. It should be in here. Uh, da -da -dee -dee -dee. It was just regenerative sickness, right? Oh, wait. No, it's not there, is it? It's... uh. I always forget because I never remember to look at my statuses. Show effects! Ho! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all of our stats are negative 15. Well, so that we can get back to our TARDIS safely, we are going to cheat real quick because this is just a test environment right now. So, oh, that behemoth stuck, so, oh boy, oh my god. Oh god, yeah, just die, everyone. There we go. <laughs> like I said, this is a test. Oh, and we're over-encumbered because of everything, which means I can't fast travel right now. Uh, we should be fine if I put my armor back on. Yeah, that should give us enough, uh... Yeah, that gave us enough so we can now fast travel. So let's head back to the TARDIS. And go back in, go into the Zero Room. And that should help our regenerative sickness. Oh, we gotta check our stats too. We can't we can't forget about that. But it's cool that you can repress it though. I want I'm kind of curious. I don't want to go back and check it because I you know I'll leave that to people's imaginations right now. I just wanted to do the uh, regeneration. But I'm curious if the repressing obviously will keep you the same. But how are you gonna be? <laughs> we came back to full health with the regeneration. So I'm curious if that does that with the repress or uh, repressing too. Or you can just die. <laughs> Neat. I do like it, though. It wasn't a fancy effect. I was hoping for something a little bit more interesting. 
uh, than what we got, just some fire and smoke effects. But, you know, hey, it was still an effect, so that's nice. Alright, and down into the depths we need to go to get to the zero room. It's all the way at the bottom by the Eye of Harmony. Hey, we're in the Eye of Harmony area! Nice. I think it's this way. Uh, nope. At least not down there. Yeah, I think it's maybe... Ah, here we go! Ha-ha! I don't actually know if this does anything for us in here. I think that effect's just going to be over time. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> this is all at one right now because of everything. So how long does that thing last? I don't know. Post-regenerative fatigue. I mean, I know that this is supposed to be what we go to for it, but let's wait like 24 hours and find out. Magnificent. But yeah, we're now a new person. Yay, a new doctor. Good times. Good times. All right, so let's see if it's going to be fine after 24 hours. I am intrigued. And then plus we'll be able to see our stats then. I'm curious if our stats are going to be all screwy. Oberlin Station, don't care. Oh god, yeah, we'd still have regenerative sickness. Huh? Hmm. Oh, I guess wait more. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh no, how long do we gotta wait in here? Or just in general, how long until we're we're fine? I have no clue. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember that one episode of Doctor Who where he was like laid up in bed for ages. Oh, man, but I don't remember how much time it was. I'm curious if that's just the number they were going with there. Or, hey, Oberlin def uh, Station defended itself. Magnificent. Crap, we still got it. <laughs> uh, that's problematic. Do I need to, like, actually sleep in a bed? Is that it? I don't know. Well, let's wait one more 24-hour period. If this doesn't work, we'll go upstairs to our bed. And see if that will. Because, yeah, I'm intrigued. It'll be now three days since we've regenerated. And I need to be able to see my stats. So right now we got negative 15 on everything. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, it is actually calling it post-regenerative fatigue. So, oh, oh, what just happened? Uh, What? What? We just fell over and then blacked out. Nope. I was wondering if maybe that was our regenerative sickness getting cured. Uh, huh. Let's go to a bed. What is that? What? What just happened? What? Why do we have that icon in, over, over there? Oh, my arms are... Oh, no. You know, we didn't take any damage when we were in the Zero Room. I have a feeling that was... We just need to be in there for, like, a very long extended period of time. Because right now, we are... We seem to be taking damage. Oh, no, where's my bed? Okay, let's heal ourselves real quick. Oh, I cannot heal my arms. Hmm. Let's try sleeping for 24 hours. <laughs> Oh, boy. This is becoming a bit more interesting than I thought. So this will be four days since regenerating now with this one. How long does it take to get rid of regenerative fatigue? Intriguing. I don't think it was this long in the in that Christmas episode. Hmm. We got the right sonic screwdriver for it, though. Regenerative fatigue? Did we just need to go to bed? Or it's, Okay, so that's the question. Is it four days... Or did we need to go to bed? I don't know. But yeah, we no longer have the regenerative fatigue. Our stats are still the same here. Our perk chart is all still the same as well. The only thing that has changed is our appearance. Okay, okay. I'm actually a little bit saddened by that. I was hoping our appearance would have changed. Or more than our appearance would have changed. 
but oh well, I mean, we are indeed a new doctor. And with that, my friends, that is it for, at least for now, this series. Like I said, we may do more. Uh, if you guys do have in the comments for me things that I have missed, uh, that would be good to go and check out. But otherwise, we'll move on to another mod, and hopefully in time I'll return to this once we have a, uh, you know, more stuff added into it. I look forward to it. But until that time, my friends, thank you for watching, and as always, we'll have a good one.